Hi, and welcome to my soapbox, LinkedIn soapbox for property and real estate investors. And this time, why you are not getting business from LinkedIn. Um, I'm going to show you in the next 10 or 15 minutes the number one mistake property and real estate investors, especially, but actually almost every person and every business making all of their marketing, not just LinkedIn. In fact, this is the first thing that I ever take uh, my investor clients through. But before we do, um, hit the subscribe button. Let me keep you in touch with the videos I'm publishing. I'm putting stuff uh, out here every week because um, things have changed, uh, as we all know, and more and more people need help. And it's interesting because I've always been in sales and it's about get the conversation, pick up the phone, make the sale. I've now had to change with um, state of the world, with COVID. Things have changed massively and rapidly, which I talked about in my last video. Um, because people have been forced online and it's not going to go back. And we know that. The great thing is more and more people are on LinkedIn all of your connections, people with deals, your power teams, people with cash to invest, those people are, are active on LinkedIn. And most people have always had a profile. There's over 28 million profiles in the UK, but most people were not necessarily active because they don't know what to do. More and more people now are active, which is brilliant. You can find anybody on LinkedIn, but the challenge with that, the flip side of that, is it's now even noisier than ever. We've been for a decade in a swipe industry. You know, we're on the iPhone, we're moving around, we're swiping. If you're not grabbing my attention, I'm out of here. I worked out the other day. Um, I've actually got at least nine communication channels. I said to a colleague of mine, how best do you want me to communicate? It's bonkers. Um, so it's busier than ever. And people are getting inundated with connection invites and sales messages. And so the challenge is we've got to get better at communicating. We've got to get better at positioning ourselves. We've got to stand out from the crowd. Hey, and, and we've got to engage in the right way with people to stand out from that noise, that melee, that bombardment that the people are getting. Great side of that, if you flip it over again, is most property investors just aren't utilizing LinkedIn sing or utilizing their marketing effectively what i cover here apply across the range you should have a range of marketing strategies this is one of mine uh, i had a guy the other day booked a call and he said i want your online mastery program i said how did you hear about it i said because we're not connected on did i meet you at i do a lot of webinars for people especially in the property industry not just in the uk but globally and he said no i've been watching your videos and it's like wow so you need multiple things because even more so now, people are not seeing it, they're not hearing it, and they're not remembering it. You have to communicate with people in many ways. And if you've got this in your head about, I don't want to bombard people, uh, I don't want to be pushy, um, I don't want to say too much that I upset people and spam people. Most people don't even understand the, what the word spam really means. Then you're missing opportunity. You have to tell everybody what you do and you have to tell them consistently and the single biggest thing is people I was talking to a psychologist the other day and he said human beings are, are inherently wired to talk about themselves I get to do this for a living and it's true and you're not it's not about talking about nobody cares about you sorry Mr and Mrs investor or entrepreneur they care about themselves. So you've got to tell people what you can do for them. And the number one thing that investors make is not knowing how to position themselves. The best place for you to position yourself is on LinkedIn. Everybody's on there. It's a big statement, isn't it? There's over 600 million people around the world. And I don't care where in the world you are. Certainly, certainly my British compatriots, um, you know you've got people from all over the world, whether it's Asia or the US, looking to invest cash into the UK. So you need to be connecting with those people. And you can do that on LinkedIn. It's global from your phone and your desktop. But you've got to be able to position yourself. It is noisy. Certainly in the UK and I guess around the world, there are lots more people learning how to invest and looking to invest. It's even more critical that you learn how to position yourself your, and your profile or your marketing. You've got to get found. You've got to give value to the reader and you've got to prove your credibility. Now, you'll see on the link below, there is a free download called the nine points to create a powerful personal profile. 
um, goes into a little bit more detail, but actually there's also another link to my online course called LinkedIn Mastery for Property Investors. And this is where we go into a lot of detail about every single step of those nine points to a profile. And then all of the dozen or so strategies you can use to go and find investors. I've just had a client turn around and said, you've done one thing for me where I've engaged with one of my connections and he's going to invest in my property investing. He's going to invest cash with me at a higher level than I ever imagined. I don't need any more investors. It's massively just radical, radically changed my investing business. Thank you. And that was through LinkedIn. And that was all to someone he was already connected with. Um, so you've got to learn how to use this properly. So if you're at that stage, I would say, Click and buy my online mastery for property investors, LinkedIn mastery for property investors. Tell you what I'll do. Message me when you bought it. I'll give you unlimited email access, communication. It's one of the nine comms channels um, while you're working on it with any questions you've got. And then at the end, we'll have a one-on-one -on -one call. That might flood my phone box. I don't care. One-on-one -on -one call. What have you got from it? What are you going to do? What's your route forward so that you're happy that it's working? Because it's there to be had. So your profile has to get found, give value and prove credibility. And it's how you position yourself from a marketing perspective. Let this be your web page. Um, a lot of startup, a lot of one person property investors um, say to me, do I need a web page? I go, well, I haven't really got one. I've got one for a couple of other businesses, but for, for mainly it's me and it's LinkedIn. I use my LinkedIn profile. People, people will find you. The moment you start to get your profile powerful, people will find you. I had a guy a couple of years ago message me, would you like a deal? Would you like a seven bed HMO, house of multiple occupancy um, in Plymouth, which is in Southern England? Oh, how, did, how did you come to meet me? There's only a little bit about property investing on my profile. He said, I saw your profile, looks very professional, read some of your stuff, you clearly know what you're doing. Um, you've got a lot of credibility. You've obviously been around a long time, hey, thanks. Um, do you want it? And, and I looked at it and talked to him. I didn't end up doing the deal, but the point was he found me on LinkedIn and I'm not even majoring about my property stuff. I'm going to talk in the next video about why property investors are schizophrenic for those of you that have got a real job or another job or another business, uh, whether you're employed or whether you're contracting and, and how do I position that with credibility as a property investor as well, how do I position my property investing? Because there are a lot more of us around. It is noisier generally. So you've got to position yourself with credibility. The moment you learn how to write that, um, number one mistake people make, property investors make in all of their marketing is not understanding how to talk to the audience about what you do for them and how you help them. LinkedIn has got Online has got massively busy, hasn't it? There's been a massive spike since COVID of users, people being active on LinkedIn. That's awesome. We're, at, we're in a golden opportunity. The flip side of that is that people are getting bombarded with people connecting with them and sending them naff sales messages. That's an English word, maybe. Um, I get people, I got people before COVID saying, oh, LinkedIn, people are just on there trying to sell to me. Yes, they are, but they're doing it wrong. It's how you engage with people. And it is vitally important now more than ever that you engage with people in the right way because you have to stand out about that noise. You've got to tell people what you do for them, not what you do, what you do for them, how you can help them. And you need to be clear because most people are not clear on, on asking for who they want to work with and how they want to work with them. And there's some tips around that. We go into that in a lot of depth on the online mastery course um, so that you don't scare people off. Most people will just turn people off. Most people, if you're trying to engage with someone and they look at your profile and your profile is poor, then you've just lost them. They've swiped on. There's a risk with property investors in the way you talk about what you do of actually scaring people off um, because they think, oh, maybe I'm going to do that myself or, or whatever, whatever, whatever. So you've got to be very careful. It's vital now more than ever that we learn how to talk and communicate from a point of value. So click download my nine points to a powerful personal profile. Connect with me on LinkedIn. You need shooting. If you don't, I've got 20,000 connections. It will give you access to being able to find them in searches. You can imagine a lot of those are property investors, property and real estate um, centric and related. Um, message me here. Ask me anything you want to ask me about LinkedIn, um, about marketing. Uh, about success really I will personally answer them all uh, and click subscribe and engage and 
just go do something. And if you looked at my last video from yesterday, uh, where I talked about people being closed minded and you think this is uh, too good to be true, uh, and it's easy not to, then you're going to miss massive opportunity. And yet, as real estate investors, we've always had opportunity. We know that. Um, Rob Kiyosaki's written about that years ago. Uh, it's even more so now. When is the best now time? to focus on your real estate investing and the, one of the best leverage ways, when is the best now time to get yourself to a point of mastery in your LinkedIn activity? Work this right and there's not a lot of other stuff you really need. So message me here and also put a comment here about what else do you want me to cover? What do you want to know about LinkedIn? What do you want to know about how you can find cash investors or connections on LinkedIn? And I look forward to seeing you online.